Hi, Gene Bosler here. Tomball, Texas. Um, north and a little west of Houston. It is November. This beautiful live oak is 64 inches in diameter. And that was called out because it is half dead. So let's take a look at it. Of course, when I see a tree that looks like this, my first thought is oak wilt. Vast percentages of its crown are browned out, although oak wilt infested, infested, infected trees generally don't hold on to their leaves like this. But you can see that the left portion of this tree is still green. Okay? And so, one of the first things that I do is I start looking for leaves that might be symptomatic. Let me show you some of the leaves that I found. This is very similar to oak wilt. This is like, oh man, they're blowing away. Classic oak wilt symptoms. Let's take a look at some of these. Now, there are a couple of things that cause venal necrosis in live oak. Not just the dread disease oak wilt. And one of them is a lightning strike. Lightning strikes are well known to cause venal necrosis and massive leaf dump on live oaks. Look at this. This is very much like oak wilt. However, this tree, I'm happy to report, was recently struck by lightning. Here's a scar. Here's a scar. There's a piece of bark in that crevice. And let me come around to this side and show you the massive scar in this tree from a not too long ago lightning strike. Okay? Now, I'm not saying the prognosis for this beautiful specimen, which my sources indicate may actually be listed on the Harris County Registry, which it's a big enough tree to warrant it, so that doesn't surprise me. I don't think the prognosis is great for this tree, but if it was oak wilt, there'd be no hope at all. It's too far gone. But if we root invigorate this tree, fertilize it, Give it a few foliar applications with fungicide in the spring to help reduce the rate of premature defoliation. And uh, uh, address soil nutrition more than anything else. This tree might have, might have a chance, but I would not say it was super wise for all this recent cutting to have been done on it. That was probably not real smart, certainly this, no one's going to suggest that it was professional work. But uh, this tree needs some TLC in a bad way. And there's always the possibility that that lightning strike opened this thing up to infection. It's just that there's no known oak wilt anywhere near here. I mean, the nearest known oak wilt is down, at least that I know of, is way down the, the beltway, like Sam Houston Tollway and uh, clay road. There's vainly necrotic leaves in the crown as well as on the ground. Okay, that's not focusing. Thanks for tuning in.